I'm going to play that video for you and take a look at this confessed, televised confession, forced televised confession from Peter Dollar. Let's roll the tape. I have no complaints to make. Uh, I think my treatment has been fair. Uh, my treatment has taken special circumstances into consideration, uh, considering, for example, a unique medical condition. Uh, I've been given good food, uh, plenty of sleep, and uh, I have suffered no mistreatment uh, of any kind. Uh, and I've also been given the opportunity to meet with representatives from my embassy. I violated Chinese law through my activities here. Uh, I have caused harm to the Chinese government. I have hurt the feelings of the Chinese people. Uh, I apologize sincerely for this, and I am very sorry that this ever happened. I have been made aware, or become aware, that certain people that we have supported at one time or another have gone on to do acts in clear violation of the law. And we know that in some cases, such as uh, Su Shanglan or Xin Xinxian, uh, there have been very serious crimes. And we are also aware that that also means that we as an organization become criminally liable for the things that they have done. I once supported Wang Xuanjiang, who has now been arrested and facing trial for causing harm to national security. Xin Xinxian, who I once supported, have broken the law. He illegally brought the son of lawyer Wang Yu across an international... Okay, so um, this is Peter Dallin that confessing on a nationalized, uh, uh, televised TV to Chinese audience. No wonder Chinese people don't know the truth because he was forced exactly as one of the people that confessing under duress. That's absolutely what it is. And he knows his life is on the line. If he does not do this, he would not be let free. He will be kept in the black jail for months to come even. Even the Swedish government cannot do anything to rescue him. And you will see, this is not just the only Sweden's problem, this is actually the world problem. Later on, I will share with you a Chinese, uh, sorry, a Japanese man that been captured for 2,279 days, okay? And still today, there's 17 Japanese are locked in those jails and Japanese government can do nothing. Okay.